In the sand. I only get one shot to rip it. Yeah. You rip your kid this time. Thank you, GoPro. I was supposed to send it back at the end of two weeks. Last night, GoPro sent me an email essentially saying I can keep the drone. They would like me to keep the drone. So I'll be keeping it and I can't wait to make a whole bunch of other videos with it. There's so many videos that I wanted to make that I didn't think I would have time for because of the two weeks. Charter internet is not good and uh, it's gonna take a couple of days to upload each video. bad I'm still going to tell you who this thing is for still going to keep it honest trust me even the upcoming videos you're going to see some of the good and the bad of the karma um, but overall I think this is a great drone for GoProers I'm going to get into that a lot more in my other videos that guy who walked by was Drew there's going to be an order of two or three batteries coming from me um, which I'm paying for, by the way, uh, in the next week or two, because I want to fly this thing a whole lot more than I do. One thing I've never done before, uh, it's called a droney. I didn't even do it on my 2016 Karma before it crashed. So let's see how it goes. a whole bunch of different places but I just want to summarize my thoughts with my GoPro Karma. Again I had a 2016 Karma, it fell out of the sky, then the recall happened. Um, GoPro was great, they took care of everyone. Everyone who uh, had a Karma, if they returned it, they got a full refund and they got a free Hero 5 Black Edition. So I would call that good customer service. The Karma is a stabilizer, a grip, plus a drum. And what it's really about is using your GoPro in new ways. GoPro didn't set out to build the best drone. What they wanted to do was allow GoPro users to use their GoPro in new ways to capture their experiences. With